Welcome back, guys. So we've already gone over the tables, uh, the layouts, and some starting relationships. Now that we want to focus on going to view the student, we want to view what classes each of these students are taking. And we do that by going back to our database here and creating a new a new um a new join record between the student and some classes here. Now what we can do is we can get we can start diving deep into creating multiple multiple table occurrences now I believe. Um, but we're on Let's try this out. Let's do some trial and error. I just want to see if but we're on this we're, we're on this layout here. Let's see what we can do. So we're gonna label this students lay students. And I want to join these students with these classes. And this is just the, the fun part of FileMaker that figuring out stuff to make it look nice and clean and simple so that you don't have like a, a spaghetti line, a bunch of relationships in one whole line just relating to one another. You want to make this clean and simple. And there's an easy way of fixing this if it doesn't work out the correct way. Well, I want to see what we can do with this. So we have students, we have classes, just like we have schools and students being related to one another. Now we want to relate the students to a class. So we need to create another join relationship. So we need a join table, join students classes. I don't like all these, so let's just delete them. And create an ID. Serial number. And then we're going to store the students IDFK and then oops. And then we're going to store the classes IDFK. That needs to be a number. Change that. Go back to our relationships. We're going to bring this join table over. And we're going to join the lay students ID, so students ID of K. And then we're going to join the classes with this classes ID of K. Since this is a brand new table, we should just give it a brand new color, which is great. And FileMaker automatically created these uh, these table occurrences. So let me, um, I like to clean this up a little bit. So over here, you have some nice tools within the relationships. So um, I want to distribute these horizontally. And then I want to make them all the smallest width. Perfect. Let's align top edges and the largest, or let's do the smallest height. Or we can do larger than that. Okay. This cleans this up a little bit. Now we have some type of base to work off of. Perfect. Now, I already know our lay students is based off of this table here. And what we're going to try to figure out together is if we can have a related table of joined students and classes via a different table occurrence. So we're going to show you what that looks like and how to fix it if it doesn't work. We're going to click OK. And I want to view that join table here. So we're going to go back to edit. Let's say we want to bring this up here. Let's uh, throw this in like a little design box. Arrange, send back. 
range sent you back. There we go. So it gives this little nice little area. Let's double click on this, double click on that. Select this, make that black color. And then um, let's drag this down too. We're creating a nice little database here. And let's say I want that portal here to view what classes each of these students are taking. So you can already see that it's showing it's showing related tables based off of that table students. And that's not what I want. I want to get this joined students classes. So what that means is that we actually have to change the table that this layout is based off of. So if we go to the little um, pencil icon here, we can change students to lay students. Click OK. And it changed all of these records by showing the related students table of first name and last name. So let's exit out of that. But it's going to give us unrelated table, meaning that we're on a table of currents that it's currently not showing records for or fields for. So we have to double click in this. We want to change the table to say lay students. Double click in this field to say lay students. Double click in this field says lay students. Double click in this one, lay students. Perfect. So now we should be able to drag and drop a join students and classes table, allow vertical, allow deletion, allow vertical scrolling, allow alternate row state, and deselect use active row state. I want to be able to add classes to the student, so we're going to bring that over. Cool. Make this just a little bit larger. Give this little box an, a, uh, an outline. Let's change this placeholder text to say classes. And let's add a delete button. And then for something simple, it's not good database practice because it makes it hard to change stuff like this down the line. But you can do a simple script step and just say delete portal row here, turn that on, which is great. But you can't easily edit this if you're on this part already and you're editing a bunch of stuff. You can't just like, oh, I need to edit that button. You can't easily do that here. So what I'm going to do is go from the layout students, create a new field. I'm sorry, a new script. And it's going to be delete related class. And from our previous videos, we've set up this new student button, and that was based off of the lay students. I'm sorry, that was based off of the table students. So that means that when we say go to field, we can no longer go to the students first name field. It needs to be the students lay students uh, table occurrence first name instead. So we're going to save that. We're going to delete. And delete portal row. And yes, we want dialog on, meaning do we want to be asked before we delete something? Yes, we do. This is no longer going to be a single script step, but a actual script step. Okay, let's just drag this for sake of argument right now. We're going to select this. We're going to do a pop up, a pop up menu. We're going to do a new. Since we're on the layout students, so we're going to do lay students. We're going to call this one classes. Click enter. My bad. We'll do use or values from classes table. And I want to see, I need the class name. And I also, I'm sorry, I need the class ID and the class name. And show related, show values only from the second field. Perfect. Click OK. Sound that a little bit. We're going to bring this down. Call this 
I like. So you have different techniques. You can click and drag for a text field, which is nice. But if you resize this text box, and you double click in it, and you start typing, it's gonna only work within that text box. So as soon as I hit the end here, it cuts off and it goes down. I don't like that. I like to be able to take my text box and I just click and start typing. But it thinks I click and drag. I don't like that. Because if you just click very slightly, it's it starts a a um, aspect ratio text box so that I can type in this forever. And no matter what, if I make this bigger or larger, it will also also always expand. I like that a little bit more. But it's kind of frustrating with FileMaker doing that. So I'm just going to drag for now. And this is going to be students classes. Make that black, bold to the left. I'll scoot this over. Perfect. So we're going to exit this layout. And then you can already see all my students here, but I'm sure you've noticed that we can't even add classes here. There's no drop down. And that's because the reasoning for allowing the creation of records within this table via this layout. So yes, I want to allow the creation of classes. Yes, I want to delete classes in this table if I delete the student. I no longer care what classes the student took if I no longer have the student in my database. But I never want to I never want to delete classes because other students can be using those classes too. So I don't want to delete those classes. I want to keep those. So now FileMaker is allowing me to add classes for these students. So we can go to this one and say we're doing programming and math and science. Wendy will do science and math. John Johnson, History, English, Sumina Maciel, History, whoops, English, PE, and by PE, Math, History. And then we can just add another one here just to see if our button is working, which is working nicely. So right now, We've just gone over how to not only relate students to classes, but also how to change tables and make it so that our database relationships stay nice and organized through the creation of our database so that you can keep it nice and organized so that you don't really lose track of where you're going and how to fix things and where to go next. Um, next, we're going to focus on creating some more um, creating some more layouts as far as list views. And then after we create a list view, maybe we'll do some reporting. Um, FileMaker has already created this other table. So what we're going to do is control, I'm sorry, shift command L to bring up our layouts table. I'm just going to double click in this real quick, call this a table. And our views are going to be only a table view. I'm going to drag that drop into the tables folder to keep this nice and organized. See you in the next video, guys.